quicker because it would require someone to take additional uh, requirements before they could practice in the state. Um, th as the Senator mentioned, this is not currently a requirement of any nurse in Alaska. It hasn't been a problem that's been brought to our attention. We've never, don't have complaints that are re related to um, a lack of training and understanding in this area. Again, most of our nurses in Alaska come from out of state already. So um, I'm, if this is uh, something independent of this bill that the committee feels or the Senator feels is really, really important that all, in Alaska, all nurses practicing in Alaska should have this training, then there may be some other ways to accomplish it through um, employment. It may be an opportunity for um, someone to complete it later on um, in their their tenure with Alaska. But as written, if it's a requirement before they can practice, it is not, it, it will keep us out of the compact. Yes, Senator Baggage follow up, then Senator Reinbold. Yes, yeah, so a follow up, uh, two, two points. The first point being, um, but of course, if we adopted it after the fact of being in the compact or something like this as a standalone piece of legislation, it would violate the compact and would then be no. Uh, wouldn't that be correct? Um, through the chair, um, Senator Baggage, that might be something we could ask Rebecca Foch online to clarify whether if the, if the nurse, if all the nurses practicing in Alaska had to take it within say 90 days or 180 days or something of, of starting to practice, which we would know because of the registry, sure. then um, whether that would violate the compact would be a great question for her. And I have a second question, but could we ask Rebecca Fox that question just to get this one answered? Yes, Re Rebecca. Hi, hi, this is Rebecca Fox with MCSBN. Um, that is that is a great question, and I, I don't have a definitive answer for you right now. I can certainly get one from the attorney of the nurse licensure compact. Um, my my thought is no, because what the what the um, NLC does not allow is any impediment for a compact nurse to begin practicing. So any extra requirement that a nurse has to undergo to begin practicing is. Um, is what the issue is. So while I couldn't tell you definitively, I think that that is, that it very possibly could be um, acceptable to the compact and I will definitely get you an answer very soon. Be very appreciated. Yeah. And Rebecca, can you state your organization for the record, please? Yes, uh, it's called NCSBN, the National Council of State Boards of Nursing. Thank you. My other question, Mr. Chairman, was just, um, I, and maybe it's more of a concern, but this this gets to my point about the compact that I've had difficulty with and that I've talked to Director Chambers about before. And and that is, I'm just, and it goes to the Senator Reinbold's issue as well, I think, of the issue of autonomy or state autonomy. And, and you know, I, I admit every state must think it's unique. I'm certain our state is. No state has a 21% a, a or greater population of Alaska Natives than our state does. We are um, a state that has significant challenges uh, geographically and otherwise that are unique to our state. And and I'm just I'm just maybe posing and this amendment kind of brings it to to a head to me. Uh, but at what point do we do we recognize the uniqueness of this state? And at what point do we sacrifice that uniqueness? In, in the service of a of a much you know sort of broader template that may or may not reflect the needs of our state so that's my deep, deeper concern here um, nonetheless that the the motion is before us so thank you Senator Baggage checking at ease
I just, we'll take Becca at ease here for a moment. Back on the record, we are adjourned at 2.47 p.m.